When looking at an animal, one of the first things we try to figure out is whether it's a male or a female. For many creatures, it's nearly impossible to tell the two apart. But there are some animals where the difference is crystal clear. Scientists use a fancy term to describe differences between male and female animals. It's called sexual dimorphism. Sexual dimorphism is just really a scientific word for saying there are significant physical differences between males and females, um, whether it's the color or the shape of their body or the, the color of their feathers or things like that. In the bird world, males tend to be more colorful than females. For instance, if you see a peacock strutting around with its showy feathers, it's a male trying to attract a female. The female is actually called a pea hen, and its feathers are kind of dull. The same principle applies to these wood ducks. Bright plumage on the male, which is used to attract the more inconspicuously colored female. If you're going to be sitting on a nest, you don't want to have all these bright, beautiful colors, because that's only going to let predators know where you are and where your eggs are. The white-tailed deer also exhibits strong sexual dimorphism. In the spring and summer, the males grow antlers, which are used to fight for dominance during the fall mating season. The females, on the other hand, don't grow antlers. They just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. In the cat family, the male lion displays a distinct mane of hair around the head and neck. He's also much larger than his female counterparts. But surprisingly, it's the females who do most of the hunting. The females have a somewhat lighter, more gracile type of body, and that allows her to chase the prey better and capture it more quickly. The males don't do that much hunting, yet he claims the right to the best part of the meal. Clearly, it's good to be king. But boys aren't always bigger than girls. Check out these American toads. See that big one on the bottom? That's the female. The male sitting on top is about half her size. The reason why the female is larger than the male is she produces the eggs. And she has to produce lots of these things. That's to ensure that some of them will survive for the next generation. Not all animals have such clear distinctions between male and female. But for those that do, it's for a perfectly logical reason. Oh, oh, oh.